Welcome back fuckers. All right, today we're going to learn how to do a mark point or add a mark point to the F10 map so that it helps you find target areas. Okay, so if you don't want to put a waypoint in for uh, the your flight, if you're like, no, nah, I'm going to make people actually use their brain and actually have to use the F10 map, get the, uh, the lat longs and punch it in and make a waypoint for themselves to navigate there. This is a handy little tool. You can put a little mark point on the F10 map. So we're going to put one right here where all these uh, units are going to spawn in off of our dummy mention that we're making right now. So here we go. We're going to come over to the left and down to this little guy here called Create Trigger Zone. Click on him. Click on the map. And we're going to call this uh, Mission 1. Done. And we'll make the zone 100. Doesn't matter how big you make it, but pretty much where the X is, that's where the, uh, the circle is going to spawn. Okay, done. That's that part completed. Now we're going to come into the triggers, set rules for trigger. And a couple of ways you can do this. So you can have it, uh, you can just have it straight out. It'll just be by itself. Okay. And just call it what you want. Mark point. Uh, mission one. Okay. Come over into the conditions, I'm sorry, the action, sorry, actions, and scroll down to mark to coalition. Value, make that whatever you want, but make sure that if you've got multiple mark points that you want, make sure that the value is not the same, otherwise it will spawn them all in at the same time. So if you want mission or markers to be uh, at different spots, make sure you put the, uh, the value differently. Uh, and here we go, we're gonna call this target, you bastard. Target area. Via F10 menu. Target area via F10 menu. Zone is called what we called our uh, trigger there, mission one. Okay, that's our zone. Coalition is going to be blue. Read only, if you check that, it means that uh, no one in the mission can delete it by accident. If they click on it and delete it, or try to delete it, it will not delete it. It stays there and it's stuck on the mission forever. Uh, so you can click that if you don't want people to delete stuff. And then comment, you can uh, make a comment pop up when the actual uh, the mark point spawns into the map. Okay, and I'll show you uh, what that does in a second. So we're not going to do that right now. We're going to quickly show you that the mark point has actually worked and then we're going to add it in for a, uh, we're going to add in on one of these other triggers that we've already made and I'll explain that in a second. So quickly see you guys in the mission, show you that it actually worked. All right, we've spawned into the mission. We're going to go to the F10 menu. We're going to scroll on out and here we go. There is, there is the mark point. So that's what a mark point looks like on the F10 menu. So you can, sorry, you can uh, put the mission, uh, the mark, mission data, the mark point, and it'll say mission data when it's been made in the mission editor. If I was to put one in, a mark point myself, which you can do, all right, you can type in whatever you want, okay, but I can delete this. Other players can delete this. I can't delete this one because I checked read only. Will not delete. And it gives you a little uh, little brief. Target area via F10 menu. Okay, so you've got a little bit of info there for your uh, for your missions that they can go, okay, what the hell, where are we flying? Go check the F10 map and find the mission marker. Okay, target area. So there we go, that's that. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're going to add it to another trigger. Okay, so we're going to Delete this one. So that'll work if you just want to put a mission point in. We're going to go one step further and we're going to add it to one of these bad boys. Okay, so when we spawn in enemy armor, we're going to go into here, uh, scroll down, mark to coalition, value one, and we're also going to go. Uh, Target area via F10 menu, mission one, coalition blue, read only. And we're going to put a comment saying check F10 map 
for marker location. All right, you can write whatever you want in there. All right, and that's it. So we're going to put that in. So when we use the uh, spawn the enemy armor, it's going to fire that or make the mark point appear. Okay, so let's go into the mission editor and I'll show you the difference now. See you in a second. All right, so we're in the jet. We'll just zoom out just to confirm that the uh, the marker is definitely not there. Okay, it's not at Kovaletti because we haven't spawned in the enemy armor group yet, which that uh, the mark point is assigned to. So now we're going to go F10. All right, F10. We attached it to the spawn enemy armor for this instance. So we're going to click that now. There we go. Enemy armor unit spawned in. Check F10 map for marker, lo marker location. Okay, so it popped up a little uh, extra note. Then if we go to F10, scroll on out, and there is our marker. Target area via F10 menu. So there you go, guys. You can either add it to a trigger that's already fired for a group of units, just to put a mark point down so people can go, okay, that's where we want to go. They zoom in on the area, uh, move their mouse cursor over the spot, and then read the uh, lat long coordinates. Okay, from the mouse there, read the lat long coordinates in the top left, write them down, punch them into their, uh, their flight computers, and make a waypoint, and then off they go bomb the area. So that is how you do it guys hope you helped hope you learned something if you did make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe to the youtube channel uh we've almost hit 200 subscribers absolutely crazy considering that uh i didn't think anyone watched this shit, but apparently it's uh it goes all right so thank you thank you for uh supporting the youtube channel and lastly if you haven't already drop on by uh to twitch i stream monday to friday at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time over in Australia. Uh, come on in if you want to ask any questions or you just want to hang out and watch people fly, fly DCS live. Uh, that's what I do most of the days. Cool beans. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one.